Hello, K-Entertainment enthusiasts. Welcome back to I Got News, where the latest buzz in Korean entertainment comes to life. If you're passionate about the beats of K-pop, the twists and turns of K-dramas and everything in between, you're in the right place. We're here to keep you in the loop with the freshest updates, juiciest gossip, and exclusive insights from the Korean entertainment scene. We're all about staying on top of the hottest trends and delivering them straight to your screen. So buckle up, fellow K-Entertainment enthusiasts. I Got News is here to be your ultimate guide through the dazzling world of K-pop, K-drama, and beyond. Before we dive into the news, make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment below. Stay tuned until next time. SBS popular variety show Running Man is set to air an exciting episode on June 9th featuring top scorer Huang Hee-chan. Titled Three Road to Wong He Chan B.E. Futsal Running Cup, this episode promises a blend of sports action and humor. In the recent recording, the Running Man members and Huang He Chan visited a meat restaurant to fuel up before their futsal game. As part of the show's playful competitive spirit, it was decided that the manager of the losing team would cover the additional meal costs for both teams using their personal card. Huang He Chan shared his dietary habits, stating, Before the game, it's always beef in response. FC TAC coach Yu J. Seok enthusiastically declared a beef flex, asserting, I will spend some money today. This declaration elicited laughter and surprise from the existing players, who noted that such generosity was uncommon from Yu when he Chan was not present. On the other side, FC KKUK coach Kim Yong Guk, who humorously transformed into San Yong Guk, reacted to Huang He Chan's preference by banning beef. He justified this by claiming, really rich people eat pork rather than beef, attempting to shift the menu choice. His players, visibly frustrated, questioned the team's unity with comments like, is this a team? And how did a team that won two games in a row end up like this? Amid the banter, Kang Hoon attempted to boost team morale by covertly trying to order more beef, arguing, the player's morale is going down. This act added to the comedic chaos and highlighted the lengths players would go to keep their spirits high. In December 2022, the eldest member of BTS, Jin, commenced his mandatory military service, initiating the group's hiatus during a period of unprecedented success in both the domestic and global music scenes. This milestone was a poignant moment for the global army, BTS's fandom, who felt the impact of Jin's enlistment deeply. Now, his discharge from military service is just four days away. Jin is scheduled to be discharged on June 12, 2024, from the 5th Infantry Division in Yongkian County, Gyeonggi Province. This timing is particularly significant as it falls just one day before BTS's debut anniversary on June 13, a day traditionally celebrated with the Festa event. The army is eagerly anticipating Jin's possible participation in this year's celebration making his discharge even more special. Throughout his military service, Jin maintained his commitment to his fans. He has confirmed his attendance at the offline 204 Festa event on June 13th in Songbago, Seoul, to honor his promise to the army. The event will feature a hugging session titled Jin's Greetings for 1,000 fans and various segments showcasing different facets of Jin under the theme June 13th, 2024, Seok Jin, Clear Skies much to the excitement of fans worldwide. Never Let Go has topped the iTunes charts in 96 countries or regions, including the US, Italy, and Japan, by M on June 8th. It also secured the top spots on the worldwide iTunes song and European iTunes from charts as of June 7th. To commemorate the release, Jungkook left a heartfelt message on the fan communication platform Weavers, expressing his gratitude and hopes that fans would enjoy the song. He explained the song's creation process and expressed regret over the incomplete performance video due to time constraints, asking for fans' understanding. As Jin's discharge marks the beginning of the end of BTS's hiatus, the group plans to gradually resume activities. The next member to be discharged is J-Hope, expected on October 17, 2024. The remaining members will complete their military service around the same time, allowing BTS to return to full group activities. I am NV who enlisted on December 11, 2023, will be discharged on June 10, 2025. Jimin and Jungkook, who enlisted on December 12, 2023, will be discharged on June 11, 2025. SUGA, who began his service as a social worker in September 2023, 
will be released on June 21, 2025. By June 13, 2025, their 12th debut anniversary, BTS will have nearly all members completed their service, except SUGA. BTS is poised to start a new chapter in the second half of 2025, returning with an even more mature image. Fans are eagerly anticipating the new music and concepts the group will bring to the global stage post-military service. Twice's Nayeon recently appeared on Fridge Interview, hosted by her fellow member Sana. During the interview, they had some interesting conversations about Nayeon's preparations for her comeback. Sana brought up Nayeon's stage outfits and intense workout routine, jokingly saying she heard that Nayeon had been working out so much she was ready to show off her abs. This prompted Nayeon to reveal the behind-the-scenes reality of her preparations. She explained that JYP Entertainment's founder, Park jin suggested she get in shape for her comeback, leading her to adopt a strict diet and exercise regimen. When we first started working on the album, PD Park jin said, It would be good if you got in shape, so I thought I should work out. Nayeon shared her frustration with the uneven results of her hard work. She pointed out the differences in body types among the TWICE members. For example, Momo seems to maintain defined abs effortlessly. Nayin noted that while Momo hasn't done any AB workouts for a year, but still has clearly defined abs, she herself had to undergo extreme measures to achieve similar results. I had to starve and eat protein and work out every morning and evening, whenever I had time. Even after all that, I wondered if it was abs or just shadows. It would show one day and disappear the next. Despite feeling disheartened by the inconsistent results, Nayeon didn't give up. She continued to work out hard in preparation for her comeback, showing incredible dedication and perseverance. Nayeon's openness about her struggles highlights the pressures idols face to maintain a certain image. Her story resonates with many who experience similar frustrations with their fitness journeys. So, what do you think about Nayeon's dedication and honesty? Recently, Lisa's management company, Loud, announced on their website that she is coming soon. This has sent fans into a frenzy, and the excitement is building as we await her return. Fans can now purely save her new song on Spotify and Apple Music, which only adds to the anticipation. But that's not all. Lisa has also launched her own personal TikTok account to spread the news about her comeback. In her first video, the money singer dazzled fans with a graphic tee and studded pants striking a mix of cute and sexy poses. A unique beat played in the background, giving us a tantalizing preview of her upcoming music. Following the announcement, LISA is coming soon trended at number one worldwide on Twitter, showing just how excited fans are for the Thai singer's return. Meanwhile, amidst preparations for her comeback, Lisa has been busy attending events all over the world, showcasing her global influence and dedication to her fans. So, Blinks. Are you ready for Lisa's comeback? We sure are. Make sure to PI save her new song and follow her on TikTok for all the latest updates. Today, we're talking about Blackpink's Ginny and her stunning runway debut at the Chakrimus fashion show on June 10th. Let's get into all the details and the drama that unfolded. Ginny graced the runway with her elegant beauty, capturing the attention of everyone at the Chakrimus fashion show. While many netizens were in awe of her appearance, some had a bit of criticism for her model walk dot 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 in particular. Some people found her runway walk to be too slow and awkward. They believed that she should have been taught to walk better before the show. However, soloist JSSI stepped in to defend Ginny against the haters. JSSI posted on Instagram, saying that Ginny looked elegant and flawless and that haters should find something better to do. We could agree more. JSSI's support didn't go unnoticed and fans were thrilled to see her stand up for Ginny. It's great to see such solidarity in the industry. When comparing Ginny's walk to that of a professional model, it's clear that she nailed the slower, elegant style that all the models presented in the show. Ginny brought her unique charm to the runway, making her debut memorable dot 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 so. What do you think about Ginny's runway debut and the support from JESSI? We think Ginny looked absolutely stunning and brought her again to the Jack Rimmis show. Today, we're diving into the recent controversies surrounding BTS's gene and a tweet from the US Embassy in Seoul. Let's break it down. On June 12, BTS's eldest member, Jin, was officially discharged from his military service at the 5th Infantry Division in Yongkian County, Gyeonggi Province. 
This moment was highly anticipated by fans worldwide, especially with BTS's debut anniversary on June 13. The remaining BTS members, minus SUGO, were there to greet Jin after his ceremony. Following this, all members, including SUGO, reunited at Hive and posted the first OT7 photo since last December. It was a heartwarming moment for the army. Shortly after the OT7 picture was shared, the United States Embassy in Seoul retweeted the post with their own congratulatory message. Their tweet read, Congratulations on completing your military service. Hashtag Jin Dot. We look forward to seeing a BTS TWT continue to make a positive impact in Korea and around the world. Hashtag welcome back Jin Dot. While some fans saw this as a sign of BTS's global influence, others weren't as pleased. Some fans expressed discomfort with the embassy's tweet. They felt it was almost pressuring Jin to continue making a positive impact immediately after his tough military service. Many argued that Jin and BTS should have the freedom to choose their next steps without external expectations. Fans voiced their concerns, saying Jin should be allowed to do as he pleases and that the group should not be pressured by outside forces. They emphasized the importance of BTS having the creative freedom to pursue their music and projects on their own terms. So, what do you think about the US Embassy's tweet and the fans' reactions? It's clear that armies are fiercely protective of BTS's autonomy and well-being. Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K-Entertainment updates. Your support means the world! Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K-Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K-Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,